Welcome to the debut of Race Face Drive-In 5 for the 2024 season, kicking things off with Colorado late model racer Cassidy Hines. And I know it's been a while since we've been able to do this, Cassidy. Uh, before we talk about the racing, because there's been a good bit for you, uh, let your fans know kind of how the off-season went and, and what you've been up to away from the racetrack. Yeah, the off-season, it was pretty long, not going to lie. Um it's always long when you can't drive a race car, oh, um, of but it was full of school and getting through finals from last semester and starting new classes this semester and going to the gym, making sure that I'm in shape to drive race cars and getting the race car ready for the season. And you're going to, you're in your third year at Metropolitan State there in Denver. Um, for anybody who may not have heard the drive in fives in the past, uh, what are you majoring in and, and what are you most excited about here as you close in on the end of year three? Yeah, so I'm majoring in nutrition and dietetics and I'm minoring in psychology. Um, I'm also going to get my certification, my, um, I guess, like, fluency certification in American Sign Language. Okay. Um, yeah. And so that's been pretty fun to learn. And I'm honestly, for this semester, I'm looking forward to getting finals done. It's been a <laughs> I rough can understand. semester. <laughs> been a long one, huh? Oh, yeah. What, yeah sparked the, what sparked the interest in sign language? I've just always been interested in it. When I was in high school, we didn't have that class offered. And okay. so I've just always wanted to learn it. I always thought it was really interesting and something that I could use without sure. like really, I guess, like being, I don't know how to explain it. Like I could use it a lot, mm -hmm. you know, cause there's a lot of deaf people around you and you don't sure. even know it. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. No, it's a great skill and one that for sure, um, probably not as many people have. So let's talk about racing now, because I know you've been excited about that. Uh, we'll start late January. You had the uh, Chili Willy 150 weekend in Tucson, which I know is one of your favorite race weekends of the year when they offer the $15,000 prize. You were inside the top three for the qualifier on night one, I know, and Saturday just didn't quite work out the way you hoped it was going to. Talk about what happened and before that, what you experienced over the course of the two days. Yeah, so January is a long time ago, um, but I do remember it pretty vividly. Um, I do know that we did not finish the race, the Chili Willy 150, the big event. Um, we did not finish that one because we had an alternator belt rip break um causing us to lose power steering and causing the engine to start overheating thankfully i got it off the track before it did any damage um but it did get pretty hot so we weren't able to finish that we made it about halfway through and then we must have got a rock sucked up or something and it just split the belt we're not really sure um but it ended our night early which was really unfortunate because we feel that we could have had a top five car and it sucks because of all the hard work that my crew guys put into it to give me a good car and it happens. We just weren't meant to finish that race. For sure. But like you said, you showed a lot of speed and I know that continued, even though you kind of had a month to really sit back, get the car back together and uh, and be prepared for the for the next one. You went back out in March. It was another good race weekend. You ended up second in that one even after you got even after you went around going for the race lead, which I know was a huge rally back for you. Yeah, that was that was pretty unfortunate. Um <laughs> there was a squabble with another driver and going for the race lead and so we both got sent to the back um and I managed to race my way up to second didn't get the win with that one but for the second main event I got third we just ate up the tires that track is a tire eater for sure mm -hmm. and so running the same tires for two main events each night is a lot and so we just, we ate up the tires trying to keep the car out of the wall when I got spun and I just didn't have anything left for the second main. 
Is it hard to decide sometimes how hard to go in the first race, knowing that you've got, got to make it through two? Yes, it is very hard because there are some drivers that will push it really hard in the first main. And in order to keep up with them, you have to push it even harder. Um, and so it's just really hard. You know, like you go into the main planning that you're going to save and then you're in the main, you're racing and they're racing pretty hard. So you kind of have to go with them and race the same amount of, I guess, hardness you could say um and um just keep up with them it's it sucks that we lose tires that easily there but it's a really fun track and I really enjoy it for sure and enjoyed it a little bit more during this most recent race over the weekend it has been quite a while on these driving five since you've been able to talk about getting to victory lane almost a year and a half now but you had as close a thriller as you can have over the weekend. Another twin twin feature show, but that first one, walk us through it, particularly that final lap. Yeah, so this, this race is one that I'm probably going to talk about for a while because it's the closest finish that I've ever had and probably a lot of people have ever had. Um, but that final lap, was intense we I was running p2 for people that don't know um we had a restart with four laps to go and it was the guy in first and me in second and we were just hustling through um trying to get the race done and I was I was pushing it pretty hard you know we were hoping to save our tires and he was pushing hard too so we pushed a little harder and um, that final lap coming out of four, I was able to get underneath him and I was able to get to the line one thousandth of a second before him, which is like not even that much. And an eyelash is crazy. At, at, I was going to say like a, about about an eyelash, as we say uh, over here in North Carolina. Yeah, it's just it's insane. I'm still buzzing about it. It's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> so. When you got to the finish line with it being that close, obviously side by side, I was amazed watching the video back that you guys were able to keep it clean. There was no contact. Did you know you had won? Did you have any idea? No, no. We came across the line and I keyed up on the mic and I was like, who got it? Like, I had no idea because I could see him out of the corner of my eye, but I could not see who was ahead. Like, we were that close and... So my dad originally thought that he had got it because the board was still saying the number nine. And then he looked back up and it said three. And he was like, no, you got it. It's yours. And we we're all really surprised. Like, That's it, fantastic. It was, yeah, it was cool. So let's set the stage, too, because you had to come from eighth in both races Saturday night, uh, which eighth to first in the first race, even if it is on the last lap, was a pretty amazing run for you. And, you know, coming from eighth again, I know you didn't get as far as you wanted in race two, but still a third place finish. So you're sitting on, you know, four straight finishes in the top three, which is huge. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Um, we were happy about this weekend. And then when um, for qualifying, we were able to qualify P1. And so um, in Tucson, they have their P1 qualifier pull a chip for what the first main invert will be. And mm -hmm. I pulled a full invert. So I started an eighth. And then for the second main, they do a full invert again. Okay. So then I started an eighth again. It's, yeah. So, it, I mean, it's good. Did it, you have, I was, I was going to say, do you have, <laughs> do you have fun racing through traffic like that? Is it stressful? It can be stressful depending on who's there. It, it definitely can. And depending on who's in front of you um, and what they're doing. I mean, cause you never know. Mm -hmm. Some drivers can be unpredictable at times. Like it happens, you know? Um, and it just, it happens. I mean, and at that track, in Tucson, it can be a three-lane track, and so we can easily put those cars three or four cars wide. And so trying to hold back from doing that and wrecking race cars is kind of difficult because we all can get in a different groove and still have the same speed, but is it worth the risk of wrecking 
or is it worth the reward to just wait? I definitely understand that. We see it at a lot of short tracks across the company or across the country, I should say. Um, real quick, we'll preview your next race, which is going to be next month. Uh, you're going to run May 18th at your home track, which is the first time you've been back to Colorado National, I know, in a little bit, too. Oh, yes. Yes. I am so excited for that one. Um, I love Colorado National Speedway. The Just the culture there is amazing. The drivers are amazing. The fans are amazing. Um, I'm excited to see all of my fans come back in the pits and give them all their hero cards and their goodies and see everybody and get the get the season underway there. I'm excited. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a pretty big cheering section between family, friends, and fans, huh? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. So real quick, um, give a shout out and some thank yous. I know you've got a lot of sponsors on board that help you to do what you do every time you hit the racetrack. Yeah. First of all, I would like to thank my crew for all of their hard work this weekend. They did amazing um, and they always do amazing. And I would like to thank Friends to Restoration, Fort Worth Screen Printing, Committee Fitness, the Pineapple Pump Project, the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation, Matco Tools, 5280 Pit Lighting, Puzzle Effects, Buckeye Welding, and Race Space Brand Development. All right. Well, it's good to have you back on, Cassidy. We're excited, and we'll look forward to chatting with you at the end of next month after that race at Colorado. Sweet. See you then. That is Cassidy Hines on this Race Face Drive in 5. My name is Jacob Seelman, and we will see you next time here on RaceFace.tv.